I don't know about you, but I've received that infamous scoff look whenever I tell a person that I'm a collector of certain things. It also depends on what you tell them you collect, because if you tell them that you collect baseball cards, or that you collect hockey cards, God forbid that you collect anything other than that, because those are obviously the coolest things to collect. It's a lot better now than it used to be, but say you tell people you collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards or Pokemon cards and they used to laugh at you and call you a nerd or a loser or anything else along those lines. I'm glad we live in the time we do now because it's a lot easier to tell people that you like a certain thing and they'll be okay with that, generally speaking. I wish I could go back and tell my former self, the self that didn't like Pokemon for five years, and tell him that it's okay to like the hobbies that you like. It doesn't matter what other people think. You missed out on a good five years of Pokemon because you were too afraid that people would judge you for liking something. And during that time, it definitely would have been a bad practice to tell people that you like certain things. Say, um, 3D puzzles that you collected for a certain period of time and that are still on display in your bedroom. And you still have boxes upon boxes of unfinished puzzles that you will probably never get to now. Yes, I do happen to collect things. They vary in range and size in collection and what I collect in the first place. Some are still collections I've held since I was a child, which are my Pokemon cards that I'm never going to get rid of. Others are fairly new because they were never produced or available to me because of where I live until very recently. The most recent of these I started collecting are Amiibo, and yeah, I know I don't have them all yet. The last two that I need, the Villager and the Wii Fit Trainer, are being imported from the UK and Germany. The reason I'm importing them is because they're nearly impossible to find in North America and it's a whole lot easier and cheaper to ship them from Europe than it is to buy them from scalpers over here in North America. Another thing that was high on my list of things that I wanted to have at some point in my life and I was finally able to accomplish that was getting the entire collection of Eevee Evolutions and Eevee as plushies. I collected a lot of plushies as a child. I have a lot of the teeny beanie babies still that McDonald's would release yearly. Another one that I mentioned previously that I'm just gonna show a brief photo of now are my Pokemon cards. All of the ones that were on screen are the first 251 Pokemon that I retroactively went back and made sure that I had all of them after I hadn't collected Pokemon cards for a long time. There are nearly 2,100-ish in one of my dressers that are still from my younger years. And I recently went back and bought a booster box because that was something on a bucket list of mine. I think we're just going to roll along in the theme of Pokemon here. And I'm just going to go out and mention that I'm an avid collector of shiny Pokemon. The very first video that I uploaded to this YouTube channel is of me catching a shiny nose pass using the Poke Radar in Pokemon Diamond. It is still my most viewed video by far, and it is also unlisted because I don't really feel like that holds the theme of this channel anymore. After I got back into Pokemon after, as I mentioned previously, stopped playing it for a number of years, I started collecting shiny Pokemon. I don't know what came over me to start doing that. I just felt like it was cool to see them in a different color palette. The first shiny Pokemon that I remember catching myself is a shiny Articuno that I reset my Fire Red 2600 times for. And since then, I didn't really soft reset for any legendary Pokemon except for Mewtwo when I realized it had a Mega Evolution. And now since Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire have made it infinitely easier to soft reset for shiny legendaries, that is pretty much all that I've been doing with my game time. I know the things that I collect mostly stick to video games and video game memorabilia, but that is not necessarily a bad thing. I like that kind of stuff. Other people like that kind of stuff, and I know other people don't. I know people who collect baseball and hockey cards. There's so many cool things that you can collect, and I know I haven't even brushed the surface with all of the different things that you can collect. Please let me know some of the things that you guys collect, because I know I'm not the only collector out there, and I know a single friend of mine, I'm not gonna name him, but he is a collector of iPhone cases. <laughs> It'll be cool to look back at all the things that I collected during the years and think of all the memories that I associate with all the things that I decided to collect. And tell him that Show it's... Me your moves. That is now my text tone.